Hello everyone and today we are going to learn how we can create an off canvas menu. So if I click on the first one you could see it pops up this off canvas menu and again I can just scroll I can do stuff around here like this and if I want to close I have to click on this cross but again there is a second version which is if I click on here you could see it just changes to stuff like this and if I click anywhere around here it closes it and if i obviously click around here it closes it like this and if you know css you could actually add like lots of different effects so right now right now if i click on here you could see it just creates like a black blur or not blur uh black overlay like this but if you know you could actually just add any effect of css that is available like this blur effect or anything or maybe just keep it empty just make it white rather than an overlay and anytime someone clicks on it it will just close so based on which one you require uh, you can get this also i'm going to provide this as a template it's going to be paid template and another thing is recently elementor pro just added this uh, widget option for i think elementor pro only so if you want to buy elementor pro use the uh, link in the description to get it and that way you could support me i also have a facebook page that you could ask questions around instagram and stuff so you could check that out and obviously when i was making it they released it like a week later when i made this so yeah if you want to get that but this one works with free version too so no issues with that you could also change the direction and all so let's quickly get started uh again if you want to get the paid version get it and then you don't need to do all these steps but instead of this one what we are going to do is let me close this I'm going to add a container like this and then you could add it however you want it doesn't really matter and then in this one so probably it's going to be in your header section so so this container does not matter I'm just adding it to have something and then I'll add the container which would be our off canvas menu I'm going to make this I guess uh, I guess 45% like this and this one would be 100 VH like this because it needs to be full screen right and then first i'm going to show you how we can make the first version and then i'll show you the second version it's just one step different but uh, nothing crazy so in this one i'm just going to call it i guess like pop-up main or something and instead of this you could do any styling that you want i'm not going to do styling i'm just going to show you guys uh pretty quickly so that we don't waste like too much time okay so i just created like a very basic stuff just to show you guys that you could add anything around here and we are going to give this one a class of dm off canvas like this so let's click on it and then give it a class of dm off canvas and inside this container or wherever you want just make sure it's below all your elements we are going to add an html widget because we want to add our javascript and before doing all that we also need to add a button so you could add anything that you want so right now you could see i have used this uh, icon but you could add any text you could add anything that you want like image if you want to have like a link that pop that shows up and all you could do that very easily but i'm going to work with icon so make sure it's above your html widget okay else it would not work So you know i'm just going to keep it like this not anything complicated and i'm just going to call it dm toggle like this which is css class dm toggle and instead of this i'm actually going to add another icon so let's just copy this one because we want it to be closable right like this and i can just add like a plus icon i guess like plus icon and then uh, maybe do some transformation around here stuff like this and then give it and position of absolute we don't need to give this one the css class dm toggle because it needs to be closing one so we'll call it dm toggle close let's give it position absolute make it on the right side and then let's add like 50 i guess 50 or maybe 20 20 something like this make sure you do all the styling that you want uh, to your whole off canvas and once you have done all this and added the appropriate css classes which are like this three 
we simply need to go into our HTML and uh, copy the code. So this is the code and I'm going to give it in the description so you could check it out. And let's paste it and you could see suddenly it just disappeared. So let's do some preview changes and see what it actually looks like. Let's click on it and you could see it just popped up. Uh, again, this is not being visible, right? So what we could do is in a pop-up main, we need to make sure it has like very high Z index, which should be like above our uh, header too. So let's just see. And you could see it works. And if I click on here, it closes. But again, it gets like uh, annoying to just edit it, right? So what we could do is we could click on our HTML and you could see we have write minus 100. I can just make it zero and you could actually see how it would look and do some customization. So maybe I don't want it to be this big. Then I can make it, let's say 30% and everything once you have done, make sure you change the write to again 100. Again, you could check your tablet portrait and all how much you want and stuff. So maybe you want like 50 for this one and then 100 for your mobile. Once you have done all this, just make your write to be 100 again, negative 100. And you could see we just got an off canvas pretty easily. And you could see this one uh, allows you to click around here like this. And the only way you, you could close it is by the cross icon. But what if I don't want it to be like on the right side, I want it on the left side. So what we could simply do is instead of right 100 uh, minus 100, we will type left negative 100. And then here we will change it to left like this. Because it goes from this location to this location. You can see dot open. It goes here. Let's see how it goes. And you could see it, no, it is not working perfectly. So what's happening is we need to go in here. And then in the transition, we also need to type left. So it takes 0.5 seconds. So if you want it to be faster. So when we click on it, if I do preview changes. If I click here, you could see it takes 0.5 seconds to go from left. So what you simply need to do is make sure if you want it to be faster, you could reduce it to like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. If you want it to be slower, you could do like one second, two second, whatever you want. Another thing is make sure that wherever you have added this off canvas, whichever the container is, let's say it, this one was like your header container, make sure it is given overflow hidden. Else uh, in mobile or tablet devices, there would be like left and right spacing like extra scroll bar spacing that would show up so just make sure it is hidden the main container so whatever is outside this container gets hidden again if you want to like let's say if i do left to be zero like this and i can just make it to be i guess bottom zero like this and then we could do like bottom negative 100 Oops, this one should be zero and this one should be negative 100. Make sure it's in percentage like this. Obviously, you will need to make this one like look better rather than like this sidebar related stuff. Uh, I mean, we need to do this one to bottom and let's see how this looks. And you could see this is how it looks we can close it obviously if you make this one to be have like 100 percent width then it would look perfect and then obviously you could just add like rather than 100 vh you could reduce the height but you could say it does like this full kind of pop-up but we don't want it that way right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this 50 which is around here and in our html i'm also going to change this to 50 like this let's see what happens And you could see we got our small off canvas at the bottom like this. And again, you don't need to have an image wherever you give this DM toggle icon uh, CSS class. It would just work. And same with top. If you want to do top, you could do top, top like this. Okay. Also, make sure you cannot have like left and right like this. So I'm just going to make this like top zero and it would just work like right now. So the second version in which we can just click anywhere like this. 
we simply need to do is add extra container inside of this one so let's just add extra container place it above our html and I, i'll just call it like pop-up pg around here if you cannot see this navigator just click on here okay and we will give it a css class of dm of canvas bg and for this we will actually use our second code which is like pretty similar but we have like extra stuff around here which is like bg and all so make sure you use like the different code so if we go around here you could see i'll have to do some changes so the pop-up main css class would be dm of canvas full dm of canvas bg would be for our bg which is already given for this button we are actually going to give it dm toggle full close and whichever thing that needs to be opening we will actually give it dm toggle full like this and then simply i'll just copy this uh, css code or javascript and css and paste it in here and it should work but let's uh, there's one more thing i forgot to do before adding this and that is making sure this one is like 100 vh like this okay so that it is like full screen and also this pop-up main we want it to be actually it, it might not uh, be an issue let's just check it out so this pop-up bg we need to add some color else it would like not be visible so you could see even though i clicked around here it did close but you could see now we got this effect and you could see it's not working around here and that could be because this header has like higher z index than our background image so this pop-up bg we just need to give like higher z index but it should be lower than this one so let me just type one two three four five five nine around here and then maybe we type like one two three four five and i'll just make it like 98 at the end so that it is like uh like one step below our pop-up so you could see now i can just click anywhere and it just works i just have to do stuff like this and it just works everything is same just as i showed before and if you want to do any blur effect or anything you could just add the settings around here which is this one so you could see i have added opacity of 0.5 if you want this opacity to be like not 0.5 you could just keep it one and maybe just change the opacity from here i guess from here to it just up to your choice but this is where we will do the settings where it's like adding any glass effect if you want to do if you want to do blur effect or anything just add the code inside of this one which is like dot visible and yeah that's all for off canvas you could download it from my website i have a facebook group that i've just created where you could ask questions and stuff for me or about my products and yeah like and subscribe and thanks for watching